on today's episode. This Samsung NPR 519 uh, is overheating badly and I can hear the fan uh, struggling and rattling away. So we're going to have to take it apart. Uh, here in Spain the dust is absolutely incredible and I'm sure that the, that the fan is at least need, in need of a good clean and perhaps even some attention to the bearings. So the first thing to do is to remove the, the battery. Obviously the machine is, is powered off and then we can remove the covers. Sadly there's no easy access to the fan so we have to take the entire thing apart. And just for the avoidance of doubt we will remove the memory and also the hard disk hard drive is under here. And with those items out of the way, um, we'll also take out the uh, CD DVD drive and that's indicated by this screw here. losing it. Now some of these screws are indicated as being the keyboard so that's what we're going to do after we've removed this is to remove the keyboard but first we need to take all, all of these screws out. So now with all of those screws out of the way, we can remove the keyboard. With those clips out of the way, we can gently remove the keyboard, but you need to be aware that there's a connection here. So just be careful with that. And for this connector, just simply lift both edges up. And I think you can see the, the state of the, of the machine just from, from this point here. So we're going to have to clean this out before we go any further. Before we can separate the plastics, we also need to remove this cable here, which is for the mouse pad. Again, that uh, simply slides back. And there's another connection here. That doesn't want to come out. What we can do in this instance is carefully with a pair of side cutters just wiggle that free. Now with the top cover removed we can see again there is a a uh, huge amount of, of dust even on top of the, the motherboard which is going to need to be cleaned off. With that cleaned up we can now move our attention to uh, removing the, the motherboard so we can get underneath to the fan itself. So there are a number of connections here that are going to need to be removed. The screws that need to be removed for the motherboard are indicated by these white arrows. With those removed, 
simply a case of lifting the border out. So not only can we see that the, the fan itself is pretty filthy, but uh, the main issue is that the, uh, practically the entire uh, exit for the, for the air is blocked by, by dust and, uh, and fur or something. So that's the next job to clean that out. Just before reassembling the fan, I'm going to put a, a very small drop of uh, light machine oil on the spindle. With these types of connections, um, there is a black line on the, on the tape there. So just make sure that that's pushed fully home so that the, the black line is on the edge there. So there are some clips that we just need to engage. I'm not forgetting to put the speaker connection back. And also the connection for the mouse pad. And finally, the key pad itself. So now with the top panel in place, return to uh, the bottom and uh, replace those screws again. So the laptop has been running for over five hours now and uh, it's, it's reasonably cool, much better than it was. I can feel a cool breeze coming out. I have the thermometer here attached to the, uh, the heat sink where the air is coming out. So that's showing 35 degrees. And if I look at uh, test program here, is the temperature of the processor itself, which is showing 37, 34. So um, the air coming out is, uh, is, is cool. Um, the maximum has been up to only 53 degrees and the minimum down to 28, 29. So it's all functioning uh, perfectly as it should now. A great improvement.